Hello, welcome to my channel. Hi guys, how you doing? Got a nice, quick, simple thing here. One plus one equals how much? You won't believe the answer. Here we go. Okay, this is not a magic trick, but this is something that looks like one. So here we've got the, an Audacity trace, and it's a three kilohertz tone. Down here in a second, just to prove what it is. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to it another tone. Uh, you can follow this at home. You can do it yourself later on if you want. But anyway, so that's 3,000. And I'm now adding a 2,000 hertz tone, which is the bottom one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just zoom in so you can just see exactly what it is we're looking at. There we go. Two sine waves. One of 3,000 hertz and one of 2,000 hertz. So we've got one sine wave plus one sine wave. So that should equal two sine waves. Well, you'd have thought so. And well, there it does. Well, here we go. Let's have a look. Let's export this. We'll export it to an MP3. And it's going to be on an insane setting on Audacity, which means it's a very high quality output. Here we go. We're calling it got to type it in here and we're going to call it uh, one and one I could do the ticky tacky talky sounds but uh, we won't bother anyway so there we go one and one and hit save boom then we have to step through all the how to make an mp3 things which you won't bother too much with there and hey presto we've got a file so now we can go and open it click on open Find the file one on one only. Open. Bit of bang, bit of boom. There's a file. There's a trace. Now, just so you can see, one plus one equals two. So here we go. This is looking at the actual original file, just to prove to you that it is actually just a sine wave. We'll just make that a little bit bigger so you can see it's lo just lovely. It's a nice, that one's a 2000 hertz. And then we'll we'll go back on to the other one, I guess in a second. So, there's a trace. Bring up the other one. Look, there's a difference. So, nice and easy. We'll close that now. And then we'll open up this one. This is the result. This is the one on one. You can see that top left hand corner. And we'll select that and we go on there and we produce a file graphic that looks like that. What have we got here? We've got there, we've got a one kilohertz, two kilohertz, three kilohertz, four kilohertz. Five kilohertz looks a bit strange. Six kilohertz, seven kilohertz, eight kilohertz, nine kilohertz, ten kilohertz, eleven kilohertz, twelve kilohertz. <gasps> All the way up to 20, there are signals all the way up to 20, but we only had 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 should equal 2. We've got 19 if you don't count the 5. How does that occur? Well, it's beyond the scope of this video because my channel is called Keep It Simple and I could go into how it all works, but I don't think you need to know how. You just need to know that it does. It gets very complicated if you start working and all that. It all comes down to lots of complicated maths and physics and all this sort of thing. But Right, so here we have the Audacity Trace. And what I'm going to do quite nicely is... Right, it's to my, to my right. So if I click Select... So the top trace is selected. Actually, I hit Mute on the bottom trace. This is what the top trace sounds like. Right. Unmute that, I mean mute that, and unmute that one. This is what the bottom trace sounds like. You've heard that sound before. There you go, stop that. And then if I unmute both, this is what they both sound like together. 
And that is the power of audio. And that's why music is such an interesting thing to learn. OK, that's it for today. Well, for now anyway. If you'd like to do me a favour, you can go and hit the wagon wheel in the middle of this screen, or you can go and have a look at another video. There's loads of videos on my channel, some of which you may find of interest. Go and have a look. Anyway, catch you later. Bye-bye.